So when we think of these big transitions, the thing which really helps couples is to shift their model of support. So when we think of what is a supportive relationship in couples, we very often think of good old British tea and sympathy. So I'm going to plump up your self-esteem, try and make you feel good about yourself. If you have a setback, I will, you know, tell you you're the best thing in the world, which is, you know, who doesn't like this? It's lovely. But essentially what that kind of support does is it keeps us in our comfort zone, which feels great, but it's not helpful for a big transition. Because we all know that to make a transition, we've got to get out there and take risks. We've got to explore different options. We've got to experiment with potential paths. It's a bit of a contact sport, if I can put it that way. Sure. And if we're stuck in our couples with this very close model of support, it can keep people in their comfort zone and really inhibit that exploration and experimentation. So the couples who do very well, I found, are those who flick their model of support from that to a model of support called a secure base. Now, a secure base means three things. First, it means, of course, there is that level of comfort, that level of support, but layered on top of that are another two things. One is a, if I can think of it as a loving kick, kick away from the relationship. So a loving push away to say, you know, I'll be here to dust you off, but you get out there and figure it out. So if you're unsure, if you're having these existential questions, the response is, don't worry, we'll be fine. It's okay, get out there then and figure something out. So it's this push to explore, a push away from the safety of the relationship, away from the comfort zone, and into that learning zone, that risk zone. Mm-hmm. Now, this is a bit counterintuitive, because in a relationship, when, when our partner's feeling a little bit uncertain and a little bit wobbly, our natural instinct, just like that with our children, is to hold them close, is to give them a cuddle, you know, metaphorically and re- really. And this is quite the opposite. When we see our partner struggling with something, feeling a little unsure, instead of pulling them close, we actually push them away um, in a loving way. And so it's quite a different model of support. But the third thing about a secure base is it's also a very arm's length support. So it's not about interfering. It's not about, did you did you call that headhunter and did you read that book and did you go to that networking event? That's really unhelpful. So it's a real arm's length push away. And what I found in couples was when they could both do this for each other, when they could both provide the secure base, that's when the magic happened. Because what happened was both partners could then go out and do the work of experimentation, exploration and reflection that all of us need to do to get to a transition. And both felt very supported in that and both could get to the other side. And I think, you know, when we first started talking about the second transition, I said this could be a time of incredible growth for people in their careers and relationship. And this growth really stems from this secure-based support at the root of our relationships. 